Hi, I'm Jeff Dean, your Director of Player Development, and today's coaching tip is on how to make solid contact with all of your golf shots from your wedge all the way to your driver. I am going to take you down a slightly different path today. Uh, we're going to talk about physical fitness and how we can strengthen your wrists and forearms to help you to improve your ball striking. So join me out in the practice area, and I will see you in just a moment. So today's coaching tip is on how to hit golf balls with a more solid strike from your wedge to your driver. Uh, we talk a lot about wrist set or wrist hinge in the golf swing, but a lot of golfers don't understand what that is. Basically, it's your ability to hinge your wrist up and down, but it's also your ability to rotate your forearms left and right. Um, I see this in a lot of my students where uh, they actually have the ability to hinge the wrists up, for example, on your backswing, being able to create this angle, but they're not very good at delivering it or letting the wrist angle go. And in order to hit solid golf shots, we absolutely have to be able to hinge the wrist, but also to unhinge it during the golf swing. So today's tip is to help you to strengthen your wrists and forearms, and it's a simple uh, drill uh, or exercise that I'm gonna show you right now. Um, if we get the club uh, like a six iron, if you have one, uh, or a hybrid uh, of the same length, choke down just for, for starters to the end of the grip, hold your arm out uh, horizontal to the ground, and the, for the first activity is we want to simply hinge the wrist down and hinge the wrist up. This is a, a deviation of the forearm, or the wrist rather, we go up and we go down up and down. This is a great exercise. Do five to ten, uh, give or take, on each side. Switch hands. Arm is horizontal. You want to hinge the club up. Hinge it down. Hinge it up. Hinge it down. Give it some speed on the way down so you're actually having to resist it on the way down if you can. Hinge it up. Hinge it down. Now the other uh, side of the equation or the other aspect to gaining uh, better wrist and forearm strength is to do the same exercise still holding the arms out here and allow the wrists to rotate or your forearms pardon me to rotate to the side and to the side I find that this exercise is a little bit harder uh, for my students and really for anyone this is a harder movement I would suggest going out on the other side do a you know a set of between five and ten and maybe three sets uh, in total I would recommend doing this maybe two to three times a week that would be an example of developing forearm strength and wrist strength. Now, here's a couple of little uh, oh, moments of awareness. I'm standing vertically, so being able to hinge it up and down and rotate it side to side is fairly easy. Well, easier than when you're in posture and tilted forward. What I'm going to have to do is turn and to be able to hinge the club up and hold the angle at an angle uh, like this, not vertical on the backswing. So you can see, in order to maintain your posture and hinge and set the club, you're going to have to be able to manage your forearm rotation and being able to develop some strength in your forearms and hands. On the way down into the golf shot, it is uh, necessary to be able to hinge down in a, in a motion like this into the golf ball. If we're unable to hinge down into the golf ball, which is a, a deviation of the wrist, which they call a medical term of deviating uh, the, the wrist angle, um, then you're gonna have a hard time making good contact with the golf ball. So let's hit a shot or two and I'll show you what that looks like in terms of making contact with the golf ball solidly, understanding we're improving the wrist strength and forearm strength. Stay tuned. Okay, well I'm here now to demonstrate uh, solid contact with the golf ball based on developing some forearm strength and wrist strength. So as I had mentioned in the last segment, we have to make sure that on our backswing we're turning and be able to create leverage in our wrist at some point. Some golfers like to set it early, some golfers like to set it late in their swing, but in either case, it's necessary to gain some angle or leverage but it's also important as we swing down to make sure that as we rotate down into the golf ball that we're able to let that angle go into the golf ball, obviously at the right time. If I were to turn uh, in this direction, 
turning and creating that angle and setting it up to the top, we want to be able to rotate down and deliver the hands into the golf ball. So as you can see from this angle, there is a definite hinging down of the wrist into the golf ball. So uh, again, if we are able to create some forearm strength hinging it up, uh, pardon me, wrist strength hinging it up and down, and then forearm strength side to side, uh, for those of you who are, who are stronger, um, go down to the edge of the grip, and then who, those who are even really strong, you can get out there and you can do more than one club and rotate back and forth. I'm not saying that I'm really strong, but anyway, I'm just demonstrating here two clubs. For those of you who are, uh, you know, shall we say beasts in the business, grab another one and try that. But I would recommend starting out with one club, maybe choke down on the grip, and then go from there. So, uh, in terms of how do we start to feel this in the golf swing uh, and hitting golf clubs, I would take out a wedge and concentrate on just hitting shorter shots, maybe 40, 50 yards, and just really feeling the club hinging and releasing down. So we're going to hinge it up, hinge it down. Really feeling like the wrists are setting going up and releasing down into the golf ball. It's going to feel strong, it's going to feel more, hopefully more solid, but it's, it's the function of being able to hinge it and release it into the golf ball that helps us to do that. So I encourage you to go out and try this exercise. By the way, just as a disclaimer, any of you who have wrist and forearm issues or shoulder issues, always consult your physician before you do any kind of physical activity, uh, especially with this kind of drill. We don't want anyone to hurt their wrists or forearms or even shoulders. So I would always recommend that prior to any kind of uh, physical um, engagement. Um, but then, you know, once you're clear to go and you feel like you can do this, let's just make sure that you can get into learning how to gain some wrist strength and forearm strength. Okay. For more information on this particular swing tip or any other, feel free to contact me at gdean at pgawest.com. Have a great day and see you out here on the practice range.